It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Pretty much everybody knows that when it comes to weddings, it's all about what the bride wants. Oh, yeah. Sure, when you're planning, the dude can be there to occasionally be like, yeah, that's cool. That's what I was thinking, too. (laughs) Really, doesn't matter, though. It's kind of what she wants. And Natalie is on the phone today, and she may, she needs to make an Awkward Tuesday phone call to her fiancé because she wants something very particular and non-traditional at her wedding, and she needs to discuss it with him. What's up, Natalie? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, first, Not too bad. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, when's the big day? In a month. Oh, my gosh. If you soon. make it past this Awkward Tuesday phone call. Yeah. <laughs> that bad, huh, Natalie? Uh-oh. It's definitely different. (laughs) How has the wedding planning been so far with your fiancé? It's been good. I mean, I'm just so excited because he's just the best guy, and we're so in love, and I'm amazed that this is, like, working out for me. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's a good attitude. So why don't you tell us why you need to make an Awkward Tuesday phone call today? So... Everybody is big into the photographer on their wedding day and recording everything and, you know, videoing everything Mm -hmm. about the wedding and everything. But I feel like the wedding night is a very, very important aspect of the whole day. You mean like the reception? No, I mean like after that. Oh. The wedding night. You know, the... The the consummation? Oh, that's what you're talking about. When the party shuts down and you open up. (laughs) That is a very good way to describe it. Now I get it. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Okay. So I really would like to record that part of the day as well. Shut up. You want to record you and your fiancé doing it after you become husband and wife? Yeah. I've talked to our photographer about it, what? and he's open to the idea. It's just going to be an extra $500, which I can do. Whoa. That's all? 500 bucks? That's expensive. You know, we're already paying for the whole wedding, so he's giving us a deal. Yeah, because <laughs> he's going to sell it on the backside yeah. and make some cash off of it. I guess it's better he's not doing it for free. He's like, absolutely. <laughs> I've been waiting I... for somebody to ask me that for years How now. I saw an article about it on Facebook, and it was so interesting because it just, it really makes a lot of sense. Wait, I think about it. Are you guys virgins, and this will be the first time you're doing it? No, 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 no. But it'll be the first time we're doing it as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. It'll be our intimacy and our chemistry is at, like, the peak of amazingness. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in, of course, because I want to look amazing. You know (laughs) what I mean? Yeah, if it was a few months ago before you were engaged, you'd probably be like, no, I don't want anybody (laughs) taking pictures of that. Well, you know what I mean? It's just like everything is just going to be at an all-time high. And... I want to be able to look back on it because, you know, our bodies are going to change. Our intimacy level is going to, you know, change. Our chemistry is going to You know what I mean? So why not capture this? <laughs> I never guess, thought about this. <laughs> so here's the thing, though. Like, I've been married. I have had a wedding, and it was a, the most amazing day of my life. And we had a great night. However... You're really tired after your wedding day. So I wouldn't give it like your wedding night being your A plus performance. Uh. I'm just going to break it to you like that piece. Like anyone who I've ever talked to, like that is not the best night in terms of (laughs) sex that they've ever had. Because it's just, it's an exhausting day. Yeah. And you've been drinking a lot. Well, you know what, though? It doesn't matter. Like, I just want it to be real. I want it to be our time. It's going to be our first time as husband and wife. And however it is, I just want it to be captured in photos. Yeah, plus if you have a camera crew there, you might perform better. <laughs> well, you know, I, well, if you have an audience, is... usually you get up for the game. That's true. That would be some motivation. <laughs> and, you know, and plus, you know, the photographer, he's a professional. He knows how to do the lighting. He knows how to do the angles. Okay. Now, you want to call your soon-to-be husband and run this idea by him? Yeah, because I have not brought it up to him as of yet. Oh. Have you guys ever done any sort of, like, exhibitionist-style stuff or taken pictures of yourself already? Like, are you into kind of kinky stuff? <laughs> I mean, we do fun, like, role-play things, but we don't, no, we don't do video stuff, or we haven't, no, no. How do you think he's going to react? Does he seem like the type of person that would be down to have a photographer take pictures of him in his most... Intimate? 
Yeah. Vulnerable? Vulnerable position. That's what I was going to say. Vulnerable. I don't think it's going to be an easy sell at all. That's why I've come to you guys to help me. Give me some advice. How should I approach it? Are you sure you want to do this? Because, like, the pressure of that on top of every other piece of pressure that goes into, like, doing it on your wedding night just seems like that could be not performance enhancing, I'll say. (laughs) Yeah. You can always find reasons to not do it. I mean, it seems like the deck is stacked against it. You can find tons of reasons to not do anything, you know? Mm. But I feel like it just would be a really important recording of our of our journey together. Okay. And is your fiancé the type of dude that's like, I don't want another dude seeing my lady naked, or oh, yeah. I don't want another dude seeing me naked? You know, one of those weirdos. <laughs> I mean, seeing as a photographer is a professional, and it's not like he's doing it for his jollies. Like, he's charging us 500 extra dollars for this. Yeah. I would hope that my fiancé would just see him in that light. He's in that role. He's not just some dude that's, you know. Yeah, in the corner. Yeah, it's it's a business transaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be a peephole. Yeah. (laughs) It's not a peephole, obviously. (laughs) I just need some advice on how to approach this. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll play a song. And then we'll come back, see if we can give you some advice, and then you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call, all right? Okay. You so, you so precious. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Right in the middle of an Awkward Tuesday phone call, you know, most of the time we help our audience out by doing Awkward Tuesday phone calls or second date updates, things like that, that Mm -hmm. aren't really that personal. And this is one instance Mm -hmm where I'd like to offer Natalie, who's on the phone right now for an Awkward Tuesday phone call, I'd like to offer her my services. Oh, God. No. I would <laughs> gladly come to your wedding on your wedding day no. and do the job for you that no. you want done, Natalie, <laughs> free of charge, as a matter of no. fact. You have to Shocking. No. Yeah. Well, that is very magnanimous of you, and I'm going to have to respectfully decline. Yeah. yeah you Thank sure? you. That was the best idea you've had so far. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, Natalie is about to call her fiancé because she decided that she wants to have some photos taken of them on the wedding night. Not at the reception, after the wedding night. You know, when you make everything official. Mm-hmm. Because she saw the idea on Facebook, thought it was a good idea, but she's not sure how he's going to react. Natalie, are you ready to call him? Well, are you giving me advice? I yeah. don't know, because I'm trying to think of a good way to pose this to him. I yeah. think I, I feel like if someone propositioned me, the first thing that would come to my head is all my insecurities about my body. Right. So I think before you actually pose the question, you really need to hype him up and make him feel like he is the hottest man alive. He does look really good now because we've both been working out. Right. And it's something that you always want to remember as his bride, how hot your man was the night that you guys got married. Okay. I didn't ask you before, are you going to share these pictures with other people? Oh, God, I hope not. No. Because you might be thinking that you like want to put them on display for people. Oh, yeah. Make them into thank yeah. you cards Let- for all your wedding oh, gifts. No. <laughs> Christmas cards. Yeah. Let him know not that it's just... Not on display at all. I mean, between us, just like... Maybe if I'm having a glass of wine with my sister, but nobody okay. else. Do not say that. Don't Do tell him. Do not say that. And your sister, sister does part. not want to see that, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Even if you're planning on doing that, don't tell him the sister yeah. part. Just tell him that you want to keep it for you guys. No, yes. Okay. I would not tell him. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to dial his phone number right now, and then you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call. Here we go. Hello? Hi, baby. Oh, hey. What's going on? This is a weird number. Oh, yeah. My phone died, so I'm using Melody's phone. Okay. All right. Well, how you doing? Good. How are you? Well, good. It's a little pleasant surprise. Well, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too, babe. Cool. Um, baby, do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have time for you. I love you so much. Um, about the wedding. Yeah? The caterer? I already took care of it. I paid him this morning. In case oh, yeah. that was on your, like, to-do list. Don't worry about that. Oh, good, 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 good. No, um, this is a new thing. Um, a, a new thing? We're, like, 30 days away. What do you mean? I know, I know. Just listen, though. Just listen. So, how would you feel if we hired the photographer for a few extra hours at the end of the night. We already hired him for all the way to midnight. You think the the party's going to go longer than that? 
No, no, no. I'm not talking um, at the party. I'm talking after the party. So you want to take some more photos afterward? Yeah. Like, <laughs> are we going to be, like, looking, you know, kind of, I don't know, worn down? It's, it's a pretty long day. Baby, I don't think you're quite understanding what I mean. And I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good job of, of expressing it, but just think about it. Our first time being intimate together as man and wife, I feel is such a special, special thing that I really would love it to be recorded in photos. Wait, are you like saying like in in the bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> you can't be serious. This is not a real thing. You want a photographer in the room taking pictures of me giving you little Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're crazy. I saw a post on Facebook about it, and more and more people are doing it. Oh, again with the Facebook. But seriously. No, there, I... there, there is absolutely no way. This is our private time. I don't, I don't need someone else in the room. But I talked to him about it already. He's open to the idea. Wait, you actually asked Alan about this already? Yeah. And, and he agreed? He said yes? He said yes. It's going to be very artistic. And it'll be, no, this, we'll this put it all in me, an album like, just for us. No, an, in an album, no, this is so uncomfortable. Like, I can't imagine trying to do that with, like, a stranger in the room. I don't know, Alan. But, it, but don't think of him as a stranger. I mean, it's better that way. He's a professional. He would purely be just capturing the images. What if I get camera shy? Oh, come on. You won't. You won't. <sighs> Babe, this is just, like... I don't even understand, like, what you're really asking me to do. This is just too much. I can't even process, like, what you're requesting of me right now. This is so weird. It's, it's just really important to me. I know it sounds weird, but please, 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 please consider. Oh, my God. Just, I just, I, like I said, I can't get over this, this whole stranger thing. I mean, maybe if it was, uh, like, someone we knew. What do you mean somebody you know? Remember my cousin Richie? He's a photographer. At least uh, I grew up with him. Oh, Richie who was in jail. That's who we're talking about? I mean, yeah, he's, you know, rehabilitated now. He took photography classes. You'd be amazed at the things that they offer them now. It could be a win-win for all of us. Awkward. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, win win to have your cousin oh, take pictures of you. Oh my God, how this got make stranger. much sense to me. Who are all these people? Craig, what's up, Hi, man? How Craig. are you? Who are you? Oh, this is Jubal from Brook oh, and Jubal in the morning. Baby, I was be married, talking please. to my fiance. Yeah, I know. We were listening to that whole conversation. <laughs> what is baby. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> Craig, we do a segment on our show called the Awkward Tuesday oh. Phone Call. So this isn't real. I don't need to do a photographer. No, it's no, it's, it's real. real. <laughs> Natalie, your fiance definitely wants to take pictures when you guys are being intimate with each other. Mm -hmm. But she called us because we do this segment on our show where if you have some sort of a tough conversation, you can ask us advice on how to handle it as long as you make that phone call on the air with us. She picked you guys. Mm -hmm. you guys yeah. You, you jokesters laughing in the in the background. That's well, cool. yeah. I mean, we weren't laughing too much until you brought your cousin into the whole situation. <laughs> and then, I mean, come on, as an outsider's perspective, that's a little funny. Yeah, I mean, that is a laughable idea. <laughs> Craig, you'd really be more comfortable with your cousin? Well, I don't want a stranger taking pictures of me, of my butt and stuff. <laughs> so you want your cousin to do it? Sense. Your cousin's seen you naked before. Yeah. He knows what you're working with. But he's never seen you, like, have intimate time, hopefully. Or has he? <laughs> he hasn't. Okay. At least I don't think he has. I mean, he oh, my God. So, Natalie, that wouldn't be, like, somewhere you can meet him in the middle? Like, you really want the photos? The cousin can take the photos? No, I want this to be with our professional photographer who's removed from the whole thing. He's just in a professional role there. I don't know anyone that has seen more of these kind of photos than Richie. So I'm <laughs> sure he knows the angle. <laughs> That's and probably everybody. a good point. And you said Richie was locked up for a while. He's definitely seen some things. I bet you can do everything you're asking. You want black and white? You can yeah. put a, a filter on it. Oh my 
my God. I bet you'd be able to keep his cool in that situation, too, you know, because he stay focused, eye on the prize type thing. Plus, I mean, I bet he'd be really honored if you offered him this type of role in the wedding. Yeah, see? Come on, babe. Give Richie a chance. I don't even know what to say right now. I think it's a win-win for, for everybody. It's a lose-lose because he's a loser, okay? <laughs> I don't want to do that with him. Natalie, can I ask you a question? Do you really want photos to remember the night of your wedding, or do you just want photos of you naked because you're looking rocking hot right now, which is also fine? I really want it to be something that we both share together, and we're both looking rocking hot. But I feel like he's trying to compromise with you, and you're mm-hmm. not you're not doing that for him. Compromise is not having Richie take photos of us. We can hire Richie for something else. We can hire him when we have our first child. We can hire him to take pictures at the birthday party. Oh, he could do the birth. Yeah. Oh! We can take pictures of that. Richie's got the exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. Richie's tight in that family. <laughs> My point is, I just want a professional for this. We'll hire Richie some other time, okay? Does it mean that much to you? It does. It really does. You know, if you really want to do this, I'd be willing to sit down and talk to the photographer and see what his whole plan would be. If it really means that much to you. You're the best. It yeah. does. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I guess I'm going to need to do a lot more sit-ups to get ready. It's a good idea, though. You guys <laughs> sit down with the photographer, have a few drinks, and who knows where the evening leads. <laughs> you know? Broken Jubal in the morning. Yeah. A lot of wannabe photographers texting in, offering the couple from today's Awkward Tuesday phone call their <laughs> business. It's Broken Jubal in the morning, talking about today's Awkward Tuesday phone call. If you missed it, Natalie is getting married in less than a month, and recently she saw an article on Facebook about hiring a photographer to document the wedding night when they consummate the marriage. Mm-hmm. After everything's over and you go back to your room and you do what married people do, mm-hmm. people are now photographing that, I guess, and she liked the idea and she wanted to run it by her fiancé and needed our advice on how to do that. When she called her fiancé, he said he was not comfortable with a stranger photographing them. <laughs> yeah. However, he said that it might he might be up for it if the photographer was somebody that he knew. His cousin Richie, I guess he'd be down with. Wow. And apparently Richie spent some time in prison and is trying to get back on his feet as a photographer. And he thought Yikes. this would be a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie didn't want Richie involved in that moment and said it was really important to her and she wanted it done professionally. Ultimately, Craig, her fiancé, agreed to meet with their wedding photographer to discuss all the details. Oh my God, you know the pictures are just going to be them two sleeping on the bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's a long day. Remember, if you want to do an Awkward Tuesday phone call, all you have to do is email the show. We'll give you some advice as long as you make a very awkward phone call in exchange. Move at 92.5.